We begin tonight in an American town where the military has set out to move mountains. A deployment ceremony for more than 120 members of the Alaska Army National Guard. Soldiers from the Alaska National Guard are conducting annual training. The National Guard is still digging out Cordova. National Guardsmen from Alaska are working 24 hours a day to unbury homes and businesses. There's so much snow here and there's nowhere left to put it. These soldiers in uniform are headed to war. Today, you add your page to the history of the Alaska Army Guard as you start your deployment. The see you when you come back. We'll, we'll keep supporting you all the way through. I'm gonna say what the general says every, every time. Stay safe. Stay safe. Come back healthy. Come back ready to join the Alaska team again with our state missions and working for our great state. My name is Colonel Hunt Kerrigan and I'm the commander of the 38 Troop Command. In the 38 Troop Command we have an array of different units. We have MPs, we have doctors, we have nurses, everything from public affairs officers to paratroopers. Bravo Company is deploying over as the security force for three different PRTs, uh, Kandahar, Zabo and Vara. Bravo Company's mission in Afghanistan is to provide security forces for the provincial reconstruction team. I think highly of it. I think one of the hearts and minds of this, this country that we're going to in Afghanistan um, is a really good asset for us. I just got to tell you, I am very proud of the members of Bravo Company. Uh, they're great examples of Alaskans and of Americans. Uh, they're, they're in this for freedom, they're in it for our freedom, and I wanted them to know that they've got the support of Alaskans back home, and we'll continue to have that support. We look forward to greeting them when they, when they arrive back. When I think of the 38th Troop Command staff, I think of caring, compassionate soldiers that are looking out for our best interests. you got a mean right hand when you let it go. I just enjoy teaching soldiers and it allows me as an officer to uh, get that camaraderie with the soldier. Yeah. Good, relax. So I think it really, really helps towards working on that retention and say, hey, we care about you. Not just in the job, we also care about you as a person, as a human being. We want to see you succeed in life. Our team has conducted the mission safely and distinguished themselves with the honor. Hola! Nice to be home. We've been gone for around uh, 10 months in country and we've been gone from our families for around a year. So, uh, especially when you got little ones, and a lot of my guys do, so it's always nice to come home. Pretty much the key thing is communication. My wife, uh, she's a strong woman, uh, so uh, she's been a uh, strong home front, which always makes it easier on the other side. We could not be effective, we could not do our job without family support. And we could certainly not do our job without employer support of the Guard and Reserve. Who train and educate fellow business people why it's important to allow us Guard and Reservists to do our jobs in uniform and protect our jobs at home while we're away. Always hard workers and always dedicated. They are the first ones to volunteer and to advance with us. So they really do great jobs for us. It's my family. That's the way I see it, it's family. So I'm simply taking care of my own family. Having the availability or the ability to get out into the bush or into hostile areas, whether it be out up on a glacier or out in Prince William Sound, uh, with the equipment and with the expertise to effect a rescue or to uh, get necessary supplies in the event of a disaster. So. In a state like Alaska where the environment is so hostile and can very quickly uh, be life-threatening to not only one individual but to an entire community, having aviation assets here and throughout the state provides a level of security I think the citizens of Alaska uh, need. We have a soldier who needs help outside of their National Guard realm. 
The first thing that the 38th Troop Command does is they step in and ask how they can help. So we really could not thank them enough for everything that they do for us, both on the admin side as well as the soldiering side and taking care of our soldiers.